Millions of people invest in the stock market, except most of them don't have a lot of information. A lot of it's proprietary. There's a lot of expensive systems that professional people have access to. Um, you may have used Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, and seen that you can access insider transactions, which is that people have to report after a couple days when they bought or sold shares in their own companies. And so for my hack that I did, it was hacking the financial system. And to do that, I went to Edgar, which is the SEC's filing system, and wrote a real-time parser that goes through the feeds there and delivers the information up to the minute to people instead of several days later, and completely bypasses the proprietary system run by Edgar Online, this company that provides the data to Yahoo Finance and everything else. So I created a website where you go to there, you put in the stocks that you own, your email address and your name, and then whenever a insider transaction happens, Within two minutes, you'll receive an email about that, and you'll receive your up-to-date information. The email looks like this. They're pretty easy to understand. They're not complicated SEC forms. It's something that I think most people would find accessible, and they can find out about insider transactions that they currently can't find out about, and that professional people would have access to. But wait, there's more. So after I did that, I also decided to make the information accessible to even more people. So outside of the real-time email alert system, I created a YQL table, thanks to the YQL people for telling you about this. I also use YQL and some other parts of it. It's awesome. Yeah. So I created a YQL table that has insider transactions, and you can search by the company, so you can search for stock tickers, and you can also search for the reporting name, which is the person that made the insider transaction, or the company, and it supports wildcard searches, and there's two APIs for that that are publicly available and they're listed on the website, as well as the source code for all of this. So people can get real-time updates from the system, as well as they can go in and they can make their own system. And now everybody has access to the kind of information that was formerly locked away, and people can find out about exactly what's going on with companies that they invest in, and now millions of people have access to information that was formerly proprietary. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, next up is number 22, Pete.